Welcome back to another video. It's been a while, it's been a few months since we've done something and there's been lots of changes happening. So, patrol's gone, bit of a sad day, and we got a caravan. Yay! <laughs> so, uh, in this video, what we're gonna do is show you around it, show you what it's got, show you why we bought it, and uh, just give you the general run through. Let's go. Let's go. caravan so the reason we decided to buy a caravan was because in 2018 we did a trip to Central Australia and it was awesome we took our LS1 V8 petrol patrol and it had no aircon and it guzzled through the fuel and um, we had a camper trailer with us just a cheap Chinese camper and it did the job but we soon realized that when we we're out there that um, the wind noise in a camper with a tent is deafening at night um, and you can't sleep um, they get hot they get cold there's no bathrooms we um, also found a thing that um, set up and pack up was kind of a bit hard as well that it was just a bit of extra work having to sort of set it all up bring all of our stuff inside and then pack it all up and take all of our stuff out so yeah I think that was one of the hard things especially with young children definitely so we decided then that we should probably look at a caravan and it didn't happen for quite a few years but we finally got one so um, that led us to this journey so we did heaps of caravan shows and researched and tried to find out exactly what we wanted and we came away from one of the caravan shows more confused than anything um, but we finally worked out what we wanted we we hired a caravan uh, we actually hired a JB Dirt Rotor, which is similar to this one, um, and we wrote a list of what we liked and disliked about it. So we hired it for the weekend, and it was fantastic. Found out it was probably a bit too small for us. It was a 20.8, so basically had a similar layout to this, but the thing that was missing was a storage. Um, so great for like a weekend or a week away, but anything longer than that, and you'd struggle to fit things. So for a family of five, we decided that we needed something a bit bigger. So we went out and we actually ordered a Dirt Rotor 22.6 um, and we'd been waiting on that for about a year and as you know with all of the delays with caravans that it turned into 18 months and it was just getting longer and longer and we had a bit of a trip planned and it was eating into that and going to affect that so in the end we got out of that deal and we bought this second hand unit um, and it's got so many extras um, so it's a few years older but um, it's got so many extras that we would never have bought um, purely because of cost so um, and this van actually came in a couple of thousand dollars cheaper than what we were originally going to spend so um, we're happy with it and what we're going to do is show you exactly what we got all right so first up we've got the front end so we've got the <clears throat> cruise master do 35 hitch so it's nice and easy to click on and off um, Elko ESC, so the van's nice and stable when we're driving it. Bug deflector. Um, we've got the stone stomper as well, so that attaches to the car. And then basically any stones that the car's flicking up don't go up onto the front of the van or bounce off the van and hit the back of the car, smashing the window. So that's what that thing's for. A couple of jerry can holders, the bike rack. Um, this van's got a front window, which some of them don't now so that's kind of cool um, gas bottles are in there so two 20 kilo uh, nine kilo gas bottles so this side of the toolbox is where our Weber sits so that'll just sit there gas plugs in over here um, so that'll be nice for cooking outside on the Weber Okay, other side of the toolbox. Um, at the moment, we've just got um, cords and um, salage hoses and that sort of thing. Um, or you could put a generator in here. Um, we don't need a generator with the, the battery setup that this thing's got, so I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but that's what goes in there. 
a couple of pole carriers for pipes and poles and fishing rod holders and whatever else you got. And here's this little storage area, um, not too big, but you can put a few bits and pieces in it. So in here is the instant hot water. So if you put a hot tap on, um, it's gas powered hot water and it takes about five seconds or eight seconds or so and you've got hot water to all your sinks and your showers. So next along here we've got a kitchen window, um, water tank inlets. Um, this here is for the internet so it's got um, out there internet which I'll show you around the back it's got a big um, satellite dish there um, so the internet's fantastic and this it creates like a Wi-Fi pretty much our whole backyard's got it running off this so um, probably three times the speed of just your phone um, with that focused um, satellite so if you are remote somewhere and you get like a tiny bit of reception you're probably going to get a little bit of inter internet reception so um, you can check the weather or do whatever you need to do on the internet and back of the van got three windows it's a triple bunk got three kids um, so I protect the bar there all right back of the van down the back here we've got our discharges for water or grey water that kind of thing triple bike rack at the back it's got a double bike rack on the front all aluminium so it's nice and light a couple of work lights at the back so we can see what we're doing um, it's got a wood box here the story wood and kindling that we come across a couple of jerry cans rear bar another um, storage pipe there for whatever we need bin bag who knows up the back there we've got two satellites so uh, one of them is the dish for the internet, so it's got a Telstra SIM card in it and that picks up fantastic internet. Um, and the other thing is the Sat King satellite TV. So um, you press the button on that thing and it spins around, does its thing and automatically finds the satellites and you have free to air TV anywhere in Australia. So middle of nowhere, no phone reception or anything and it'll just pick up the local channels there and you get iView and um, all the channels that you can replay and your regular free to air which is um, maybe not something we use all the time but if you're remote somewhere you're bored and it's Friday night and the footy's on well we've got it so we can use it so this bit here is your toilet cassette uh, it's got a, a SOG kit so that means that when you do go to the bathroom in there um, it turns a fan on in here and actually sucks all that smell out so if you are in the van it doesn't stink the van out so it's pretty handy in here airbag controls so the van's got uh, cruise master four and a half ton airbag suspension um, so all you can controls are there there's a line out so you can pump your tires up um, it's also got a uh, fusion control in there so you can control your stereo outside and inside uh, make your tv in there if you need to A little picnic table comes down so that's pretty handy just for storing stuff when you're doing bits and pieces or you're cooking outside or you're resting your beer there or whatever. Got a power outlet if we need to plug anything in outside. Another picnic table, window, uh, this is a tunnel boot. So storage for all your gear in there, your chairs, your poles, your all your bits and pieces. A light there to see what you're doing when you're working out here or when you're um, cooking out here. So underneath here is where you've got all your Cruise Master airbag suspension, remote reservoir shocks, air tank under there. So this van rides so smooth and it gives you the ability to level up. So as you can see our van is definitely not level so we're on a bit of a hill. The front of it is still down somewhat but I've got one airbag side pumped right up, one right down, and I've um, got a little bubble there, like a spirit level, and it's, um, it's full level. So if we were up to a campsite, anywhere, most of them are off-road, even camps, uh, caravan parks, they're not that level, so you can just adjust it just that little bit. So it saves you from having caravan ramps and winding your legs up and down and mucking around. You can just quickly press a button and it's level. Hi everyone, so this is our master bedroom area which I'm really loving. <laughs> so um, uh, we have got the queen size bed and it's got the cut off corner so it makes it a little bit easier for you to get around and everything so which has been really handy. Um, we've got heaps of storage up this end which is really good so it means that we can store all of our clothes any of those little bits and pieces. 
in this side um, it has come with shelves which is really good because some of them do come with just the railing so you can hang clothes but we, we really wanted the shelves because we feel like we're going to use it a bit more so that's really great we've also got the storage above um, on both sides so his and hers um, uh, that'll be all that wardrobe in there and um, we've also got the little like nooks down here they have got the um, charging points down there as well it's a great spot for us to be able to store like our phones and even like charge laptops and put all of our little bits and pieces personal bits books Kindles all that sort of stuff in those bits so that'll be really great got our reading lights um, which will be great at night especially when the kids are sleeping at that end we can just have a couple of little lights on this end um, this switch is actually for the bathroom which I think is amazing switch that on make our way up to the bathroom at night if we need to so we've got all that storage we've got a little bit of storage down the side as well um, which is really great we've got our Sirocco fans which are um, always needed in the van so we've got one on each side um, and then we've also got storage above storage below and different like baskets and hooks around just for us to be able to put little bits and pieces in so that is this side of, the, of our master bedroom okay so on this side is actually Brett's side and it's good because this is a bit more technical this side <laughs> so um, he's actually got the trauma is it trauma? Truma? Truma the Truma hot water system next to his as well as the Truma um, gas heater so it just means that those are the controls all over that side um, he's got all the same story just what I've got on this side and then we've also got our TV mounted over this side um, now as you can see we've got Netflix on the TV which is really great um, I'm sure Brett can maybe explain to you a little bit later because he's the techie guy but it's because we've got the Wi-Fi all sort of set up in there which is really great these storage um, cabinets have got a lot of the sort of electricals in it so they're sort of packed away in there same with this top one up here it's got a lot more of the electricals in it and then down on this side we've also got a lot of our remotes all in the one spot so we know exactly where we need to find everything so they're all velcroed onto the side there which makes it really handy to find it because you don't want to lose a remote so this is the kitchen area um i'll go through the top shelves up here because this is where all your gadgets and bits and pieces are so um this caravan's got a lot of power and so it's got 480 amps of lithium amp hours uh, it's got 990 watts of solar um, so what that means is that there's so much power in here that we don't really need a generator we can run all of our things and don't really need to worry about um, what we're using to some degree um, if there's good weather the amount of solar that's coming in is filling these batteries really quickly so the van that we were going to buy we weren't really going to have much of a power system on it so we were going to buy a generator and have to really worry about how much power we were using so the fact that we got this one which has got a big dollar system on it and somebody's already bought it um, it's fantastic um, so up here what you've got is um, all your Victron stuff so it tells you um, what's left in the battery uh, what's being used so we've got a few things on at the moment we've got 17 amps going out 97% um, battery so for the last week or so we've just had that on and it essentially it, it doesn't use any power we haven't really been running too much but shows you all your water tank levels all your switches um, this side of things so um, it's got a self I go uh, booster so for your mobile phone so if you've got a small amount of reception on your mobile phone this is going to boost it it's got uh, a sat king satellite TV system so um, that's all that stuff in there it's got the, the Wi-Fi and internet so that's all this stuff here and antennas and that sort of thing um, so that's where all of you, most of your electrical components are. Um, up here, so we've got the fusion um, sound system, I suppose you'd call it. So um, this is sort of like your amp and your control system. So this controls uh, music. Um, you got connects to your TV. 
So that connects to the speakers in the roof here and also there's two on the outside so you can adjust them independently up and down. You can just uh, adjust them front and back. So at the moment we've got just the, the bedroom one on. So like for example if we're watching something uh, outside's not going to hear it and even you know people in the, in the lounge room or the kids up the other end aren't really going to hear it. So it's pretty handy you can adjust that. And then if you want to pump some music off your phone outside you can do that too. Um, that's this is part of it. So this is like a like an iPod docking station, so you can plug your you know plug your phone in via USB. But it also does have Bluetooth, so you can just connect your Bluetooth to it. Um, and then outside as well, in one of the hatches there is like a, a little remote one of these. So it's just like a little smaller version. It does exactly the same as what this does. So if you're outside and you want to turn it up or adjust your speakers, you can do that from outside too. Okay, so the kitchen, which is, I'm really excited about because it's got a bit of extra space than what we're actually possibly going to be having with the dirt rotor. So I'm really excited about this kitchen. Um, we've just got a round stainless steel sink. Um, we've got our regular mixer. We've also got our um, drinking water tap. So we have a dedicated, I think it's 65 litre tank for drinking water. Um, so we've got a filter and everything on that. So that's great because um, we drink a lot of water and it's really handy to be able to have it like filtered and all ready to go. So that's great. So we've got all that. We have our um, stove top here. So we've got the three gas burners and then the electric burner. So it's all there, ready to go, nice and spacious. Um, so this one has got the grill and the oven. Um, I think in our last van we weren't sure whether or not we were going to get the oven, but um, I think because this van has a bit of extra space, we've got some extra cupboards, so I'm quite happy to sort of have the oven, and I've heard lots of people just store stuff in the oven if you need it, so I'm sure when we get to packing up for a big trip, we might use the oven. Um, we've also got this bench space sitting right here, which is really handy because we might be able to use this for things like the Thermomix or a slow cooker, different bits and pieces maybe. So it's really nice to have some extra bench space because if you've only got this cooktop space when you're cooking, you then don't have any more space. So it's really, really great. Um, we've got lots of our um, drawers and everything here. So we've just been like filling it with all of our cups and plates and bowls and everything. And we've got a big pot drawer here, which has been really great. Um, so yes, we're just slowly finding places for everything in the kitchen, um, which has been really handy. So we've got the range hood. Um, and then I guess we sort of continue on. We've actually got a pantry here. So um, that is really good. This is, I guess, that little bit of extra space. So this has got the slide out pantry for it. So we have the store extra pantry items in here, which I think will come in handy a lot for when we're on a big trip. And then um, uh, once you sort of then look over, you're then into the living dining area. So this is a really great space that it's got a nice big U shape lounge. It will help because there's five of us. So it's just that little bit of extra space for all of us to be able to fit around the table. This table is adjusting as well. So it can move back and forth. I can't even remember, oh here it is. So it can move out so that there's space to sit around, but then when you're actually like in the kitchen or something, you can move it back as well. It obviously moves up and down like a lot of the caravans ones do, so if you really want to, you could use this as a bed as well. But um, for us at the moment, it's just a really great space for us to be able to sit and relax, eat dinner, eat breakfast, all that fun stuff. There's also a lot of storage underneath here. Um, which is going to be really great for when we're on a long trip and we're needing to put some extra stuff away But we don't need to access it all the time. We've also got a pot drawer under there as well. So there's lots of um, Storage in here. We also have like the standard sort of Shelving up here so we can store like extra food and any other bits and pieces that we might have Well yeah, up there also is a um like a bilge pump, like a dust reduction system. So, um, just turn around. So what that does is pressurizes the van. So when you're traveling down dusty roads, uh, more high pressure inside than outside. So hopefully it's pushing dust out and not 
um, not letting it come in. So that's what that's for. Um, also, uh, aircon up here while we're in the kitchen. So um, with the battery system that we've got, we can pump this aircon. Um, Maybe not 24-7, but a fair bit. So we've had it on a little bit, we've cleaned all the filters out because they were fully blocked and um, you know set it down to 16 degrees and you know we've taken a few percent out of the battery and then because it's been in the sun, it's charged it straight back up. So there's, as I said, there's heaps of solar. Um, so it's pretty handy having that. So like if we're up north and it's really hot and humid, um, that'd be pretty good to have that on for a little bit and not really have to you know, either run a generator and you know, be noisy and annoy people, or um, which was what we were planning to doing because it's, it was cheap. Um, but we don't have to worry about that too much, so we can have some creature comforts and, and enjoy it. So um, it's a really nice band with a, you know a lot of extras that we probably wouldn't have, we definitely wouldn't have got. Um, so I'm glad that we've got this one anyway. So um, what we'll do is um, move through to the next section. Okay. Um, so this is our bunk area. So we have got three bunks because we have three kids. So um, they are loving this space. You can kind of see that they've moved a lot of their junk in already. <laughs> um, but it's really good. So we've got just like this tiny little ladder, which is really good because it's nice and easy for them to access it up and down. We've got pockets on each of the bunks. So you can see that they can be able to store all their books or um, any other little bits and pieces in there if they want to. They have their Sirocco fans here as well. So each of the bunks have got a Sirocco fan to try and help keep them cool. We also, on each of them, have this drop down DVD player. So each of them are going to be able to watch DVDs or anything like that as well if they want to. Um, they all also have little lights at the end and charging points, all that sort of stuff. So they're kind of very self-contained up here, which is really great. So they've got lots of space. And then behind me, we've also got um, our cupboards and our washing machine. So our cupboards um, are just shelving. At the moment, there's not a whole lot in there, but um, soon enough, we'll be able to start filling it with clothes and all that sort of stuff. So. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is going to be really great. Um, when we actually hired the dirt rotor, this is one of the things that was actually missing. It had bunks and then the bathroom was actually here. And so we didn't have any storage for the kids. And it just meant that if we were going on a long trip, we'd have to have all, of our clo all the clothes at that end or they'd have to store them on their beds. And it just wasn't really going to work for us. We needed to be able to have some storage for the kids' clothes. So being able to have this is really great. Also, washing machine. I think if you're on the road long term, then the washing machine's essential. It costs a fortune to like use the washing machines at caravan parks or even just laundromats. Having one yourself, you can just chuck some clothes in and have a wash, especially because of the solar that we have and the water tanks that we have. Just means that when we need to, we can be able to use that at any time. So obviously we'll manage our batteries and our water when we need to, but it's nice being able to have that option of being able to use our water washing machine whenever we need it. Bathroom or shower? Yeah, so this is our bathroom. I think it sounds a bit echo in here, but um, we've got that really nice large shower got the vent up the top, a light in there, which is really good actually because... you got to get in there because everyone that does a caravan video gets in and says how big their shower is. <laughs> okay, I'll get in the shower then. So, actually big? I've never been in here before. I haven't <laughs> stepped into the shower. Is it big? So, there's plenty of room in here, so which is really nice. We've got the handheld shower head. We've got a little um, storage here for all of our shampoo, conditioner, all that sort of stuff. You've got your vent and fan up the top. And yeah, and it's a really great spot here. We've even got like a little lip down the bottom here. So you never know, it might have Isla splashing around the bottom there. So it's a really great size shower and I think it'll really come in handy for when we need to get all that red dirt off the kids. Um, so in the rest of the bathroom, we've just got our vanity with our basin, we've got the mirror, we've got storage up the top, as well as down the bottom all of our power plugs and everything that we need, as well as our toilet. So that's a cassette toilet, 
I've got an additional cassette just because we know we're probably going to need two of them. So um, we've got all that in place as well. So another vent and fan here. Um, this is also a sliding door here so we can slide it off so that it can... Whoa! <laughs> So, yeah. Thank you, <laughs> so it can be like shut as well. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Oh. Um, another thing we forgot to mention, another big amount of storage is here under the bed. <laughs> so there's heaps of room under there. So that section there, that's got the gas heater under it. Um, and yeah, the rest of it is just storage, so that's a that's a good little spot there. So extra cupboard space. Um, yeah. So yeah, the fridge. We didn't mention the fridge. It's a I think it's about two hundred and twenty-four liters or so compressor fridge. So it's not a three-way fridge. So. Um, we the one that we had originally purchased was going to be similar to this too. So um, we wanted the compressor fridge because apparently they do better up north when it's really humid, whereas the three ways struggle a little bit. So that's pretty handy. Um, but uh, yeah, that's our Scorpion Sting 23 foot um, triple bunk caravan. Huge amount of batteries, airbags. Um, it's literally got everything we ever wanted so um it's definitely a dream van yeah. so i think this is definitely like even just a step up from what we we're planning on getting from the dealer so it's yeah amazing being able to have this at home and to soon be able to take it out on the road and we were super excited <laughs> <laughs> so um we've just been tidying up this last week or so we've had it just been replacing some seals and uh, cleaning and fitting different things, replacing filters and all those little bits and pieces just to make sure that everything's up to date. And um, we're going to do, we've got a couple of little caravan park trips booked just to give it a test run, just to see how everything works. And we're just working out where things are and how things work on it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we can really get into some more trips and um, keep exploring. So that's our van and we hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>